Yes, some Zanti is cut to bunny. 2.30 on SABC. One. Zanti for For show. That can only mean one thing and one thing. Only the best of the best when it comes to side tech entertainment is finally on your screens. Yes, my fair. So the two awesome bros are on your screens right about now. Hosting the biggest entertainment show in the continent. Lena guess if he's like a teenager's on a mission. I'm too fresh. Hey, come on, my hey, 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 I want to touch my face. We're actually going all out. I'm talking glitter. I'm talking shine. And I'm afraid to announce that we're actually famous for eco lead. That's not the only thing we're actually famous for. Yes, my face. So, okay, my face. Just cut back a little bit. I mean, like a hundred years ago, the course of our country's history was changed forever. It's a cool now, my face. I'm telling you, we're actually going back. So, just cut back. When I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's a diamond. It's important that cool ambulance is. Even though I've got a silver bonnet in real life. Hmm. Maybe you just need to look closer. Are you guys ready to shine? Cause I'm ready. <laughs> Let's get this party started. <laughs> This is coming up Namhlanje on TOMZ. Let's go to the place where it all started for diamonds in SA, the big hole in Kimberley. Let's also talk about how this has changed our country forever. Discover why diamonds are the hottest natural substances on earth. Trace back these incredible stones in history to find their influence. Look with us into the future of diamonds and take our quiz with us for your own chance to shine. Let's go. Oh yes, some zanti nyas good kere like kaya sa. Tano kulwa nani on social media and today is no different. Nam tanja ba fetu, minang funu wazi, e daiman di guzulima kona lali kona manjine, nusu gali fie gan jani lapo. Now let's see what you guys have to say on social media. Wakala ge spete o ka khiso on Facebook ege, utge na e daiman il fie ange volcano. Okay, interesting. Wes mi lege spete o bonsi, utge na e daiman ege dipenda wui climate ya leon dao. And then, boom, wala, nani e daiman. Okay, kuwa nga is ba fetu, give those comments coming in on Facebook and on Twitter. On Facebook, we are, of course, TMZ on Twitter at Tom's underscore SABC underscore one. Let's go to Twitter and with Martini. Let's go, go. Oh yes, my fits, we still at it again with our road show. And I'm trying to say Kimbali, my fits, we touched down at Floss number two high school. Right next to me is a young lady. I'm going to ask my questions. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. And you? I'm great. What's your name? My name is Shireen. Okay, Shireen, so I want to know, what is a diamond? It's actually a small sparkling or a big sparkling stone. A diamond is a small stone that looks so shiny and beautiful. And where are these shiny stones found? At mines. Why are diamonds so valuable? Um, they are valuable because it actually plays a big role by doing jewelry and all that stuff. And it's also very expensive, as we all know, yeah. yeah. So I want to know, what are diamonds used for? Diamonds are normally used for jewelry, mm -hmm. like rings, necklaces, mm -hmm. brackets, yeah. yeah okay. Basically, they can be used for jewelry and for decorations. Okay. Okay, so tell me, where was the biggest diamond found? In Kimberley. We found them in Kimberley. In Kimberley. So I think that my fans have never seen a diamond in the flesh. If you might have, have you ever taken a closer look? One at a diamond in. Well, check this video out. Diamonds are minerals that are found in the Earth's crust. They are natural and form over millions of years. And my country, I'm mining in the world, have natural diamond deposits which are mined like South Africa, Russia, Australia, and Canada. The diamond industry worldwide is worth more than a hundred billion rand. Various factors of a diamond determines its value, like its clarity and color, which can make it a very sought after diamond. Diamonds have been traded since 400 BC when it was found in rivers and streams and traded from India. The modern diamond market started in South Africa, where diamonds were first discovered in Kimberley in 1866. Entrepreneur Ocecil Rhodes established a mining company which soon controlled 90% of the world's production of diamonds. The diamond industry in South Africa went on to create thousands of jobs and billions of rands of income for the country, changing the course of our history forever. That is amazing, Donna. That's incredible. But we're not only famous for that, Buffett. We're also famous for finding or discovering the biggest diamond in the world, Buffett. So it was here in Mzansi. Right. That is just amazing. Mina funu wazi lapeka unu kutika chate. Utabangani galoku. Hit us up on social media, and I'll see you on the flip side of this.
Welcome back, you guys, to the Chini, to the biggest channel in the land. Again, let us see these on my SABC1 and for sure. This clip finish, we got a right button now. This is visiting teenagers on a mission, the best science and technology show in the land. We are all about inspiring you, educating you, and changing your life. Yes, but Faith, so now deep down, there yeah. are minerals. And number minerals now have been forming for millions of years. Mm. And one of these is actually Amadaimani. Yeah. Now, but Faith, the Shazgi Uta Amadaimani are beautiful and precious mm. and have changed the course of. Uh, uh, Fake. They have actually <laughs> changed the course of Mzansi's history forever. Yeah. But that being said, by Fetu, let's go back to where it started. Fake land on my nation. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, yo, 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 what's going on? It's your boy C A W D Y pronounced Caddy. It's on another mission running the streets of Kimbali, but fails. I was going to say, hey, it's touch it down the Kimbali, sing a the big hole. On today's mission, we're going to learn more about the history of diamonds in South Africa. No good to get to the big hole. Let's keep it. You know what I mean? In this mission, while we're still here, let's get it. Hey, yo, 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 I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. So, what exactly is going on here? And who are you and what do you do here? I'm going to go to David Tabanello. I'm going to go to the Kimberley Big Hole. All right, uh, the Big Hole is a historical landmark yeah. okay, uh, where diamonds were discovered here at the Big Hole. Okay. okay? Mm -hmm. uh, the Big Hole is 145 years old. Yeah. This all started on the 16th of July, 1871. Yeah. So, Putomge, tell me, what is so special about the Big Hole? Uh, this Big Hole is in the Big Hole. It's in the Big Hole. It's in the Big Hole. Yo, okay. Yeah, bu. Ah, bare ke man-made. Yeah. Soko wa. Yeah, bu. Kape na kore ba boni di taiman eti ting 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 mo. Yeah, bu. Kyo ne kore sa matho matle mo kimbali. Yeah. Biko lu iti si se idera kore matho bale fasi lo tse ko America ko Germany. Yeah. Kona kote kui chuta ka. Yeah. Okay. So let's speak about the history of it. When did it all begin? Um, how were the where were the men um, found to actually dig for the diamonds? Let's talk about the history and the journey of the big hole becoming actually a site where Abantu can come to and check it out. All right. Uh, how it all began? Isunziana ntate esau damon ona berekela Fleetwood Rostow. Okay. Ba berekanti early. Jano eneli moapi wabone. Il y a un cadre qui est en train de se faire. Il y a un cadre qui est en train de se faire. Il y a un cadre qui est en train de se faire. Il y a un cadre qui est en train de se faire. Il y a un cadre qui est en train de se faire. Il y a un cadre qui est en train de se faire. Il y a un cadre qui est en train de se faire. Il y a un cadre qui est en train de se faire. Il y a un cadre qui est en train de se faire. Il y a un cadre qui est en train de se faire. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. 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 Yes. Okay. 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 Yes. 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 Now, Kimberley, we are the city of first. We are the first in Africa to have street lights. Uh, they came in 1882, September the 2nd. Mm -hmm. All right, it's a long list. I'll tell you about it more. Okay. All right. Now, on the side, that was a shack. Mm -hmm. You see, that is the original shack they used back then okay. in the 1800s. It mm. used to be the mine manager's office. Okay. That machine with the wood, can you see it at the back? Yeah, I can that see That is a it. diamond sorting machine. What they did, they take a bucket full of soil. Yeah. Then they'll pour the soil uh -huh. in the middle. Yeah. There's a surf. The soil will fall through, but yeah. the diamond will get caught on the surf. Yeah, okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, the accommodation of the miners. Mm. At the back, can you see that small shack at the back? There's a small shack at the back. There were a lot of those small shacks that oh, okay. used to be now the accommodations of the Yeah, but the that's mine. a small shack, though. It is very small. So how many people used to work here? Like, how many workers were here? All right, uh, uh, the number is unknown. All they say is that it's over 40,000 who used to work here. Yeah. And they came from different parts of South Africa. Mm. Welcome to the big hole. Yo, there yo, it is. yo, yo, yo. Can you see how beautiful this? Wow. Yeah. Wow. Now, they stopped mining here mm. on the 14th of August, uh, 1914, yeah. due to the First World War. 
Okay. Okay. That's mm. the reason why they stop mining. All right. Mm -hmm. After the war, when they came back, want to continue, mm -hmm. the water was too much. Okay. Now, when they were busy mining in the tunnels, yeah. there was a pump where they would drain out the water. Okay. Now, because there was no one to drain out, the water level started to accumulate. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why they left that it is. Mm -hmm. Right. So my if that decided to want to drain out this water and start digging again, turn this place into a mine, do you think we'll still find diamonds? I think so, sir. Mm. I think we would. You know, my suggestion mm -hmm. is like maybe you can quickly jump in to go and look for it. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> a diamond is actually made up of carbon, an element found in many different forms on Earth. The carbon atoms inside it are arranged in a strong structure, making it the hardest natural substance known to man. Only a diamond can scratch another diamond. That is why they are often used in industrial equipment like drills and not just in jewelry. Now, most of the Earth's natural deposits of diamonds are found in Africa. When a diamond is found, it is rated according to its cut, color, carrot, and clarity. How much do you know about diamonds? How are they formed? Uh, diamonds can be found in kimberlite rock, they can be found in rivers, mm -hmm. also in, in sea, marine. All okay. right. Mm -hmm. A diamond, uh, the most expensive colors could, mm. can be the yellow, the pink, uh, uh, the red, mm. and the the purple. Now, also the, the, the see-through one, the clear diamond, yeah. is also the most expensive. Where do the colors come from, yeah? Diamonds are, the colors are, are determined by, about from the heat. Okay. okay. The mandals. Okay. They determine the color of mm, the diamond. Mm, mm. Uh, did you know that the first yellow diamond was found here in Kimberley in 1878? Okay. And also for a very long time, diamonds were only discovered in India up until the 1700s. Mm. All right. Uh, uh, the most common diamond found in India is the red diamond. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. okay. In South Africa, you can find the pink. All right. The pink can be found in South Africa, Australia, and Central Africa. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm gonna give you, show you the underground uh, tunnels. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. it's a wonderful experience. Mm -hmm. But before we do that, let me show you the kimberlite rock. Oh. This is the kimberlite rock where diamonds are found. They're found in there. So the there's kimberlite. diamonds inside this rock? Possibly. No, yeah. <sighs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Now, some natural diamonds are formed about 150 kilometers below the Earth's surface where temperatures are at 1050 degrees Celsius. Diamonds formed in these zones are carried to the Earth's surface through volcanic eruptions. Now, these eruptions tear out pieces of the Earth's layers and very quickly bring the diamonds to the surface. Amanyama diamonds have been brought closer to the surface through the movement of tectonic plates. Now these diamonds are formed as little as 50 kilometers below the surface at much lower temperatures. Okay. That is the explosion. Uh, they use the jackhammer on the floor. Yeah. Now the jackhammer, they uh -huh. drill those holes on the wall. Okay. In those holes, they put dynamite. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now they light the dynamite. Mm -hmm. The miners go and hide. Okay. That sound you heard was, was the warning, so they can go and hide. Oh, that's that, ex okay. that explosion will occur. Uh -huh. Now all those rocks will be taken, yeah. either with the cocoa pan or the wheelbarrow, to the other side to be crushed. Okay. Yes. Like, I understand that. But we'll talk about how do you establish which actually the stone lazy, see rich and powerful and so precious. Not less common, Bella, but I get your point. Hit us up on social media. Tell us because we're about to find a diamond of faith. So what would you do? On social media, on Facebook, see TOMZ, on Twitter, see Tom's underscore SAPC underscore one. Yes, I'm going to manage it. See you after the break. Terms. Terms. 
Oh yes, Mzanti, welcome back to the biggest and the best entertainment show in the land. Yeah. NSAB is on your TMZ. Monana on SABC1. We love on TV. Or Uno, when I'm trying to get my face, we're actually learning more about the history of Amatai Mane Alana Mzanti. Finding out how diamonds have changed the course of our people and are still doing it, Namjanji. I mean, we still have a lot to thank these shiny minerals for. Otherwise, let's go back to our exploration. Now this is the pre-show. Mm -hmm. The pre-show, they use the four C's to describe the value and the beauty of a diamond, mm. which is color, clarity, cut, and carrot. Mm. Now color, uh, the most common one, which is beloved far all over the world, is the one in the middle. The clear one, also called the white diamond, mm -hmm. okay? Now the yellow one, found in Brazil. In mm -hmm. 1878 though, right here at the big hole, they found a yellow diamond. Mm -hmm. 1879, Charles Tiffany came from America, mm -hmm. and he bought it from us, it's now in New York. Now the black diamond, okay, the value, mm. quite low. Uh, reason being it's difficult to view facets and inclusions in a black diamond. Mm -hmm. Light can go through, that's why it's not valuable. Carity, the second C, mm -hmm. it needs to be flawless, clean, no yeah. small cracks. They call these cracks, here they are inclusions all right now cut all right we've got different cuts we've got the princess the radiant hard emerald round really mosaic and over now carrot carrot okay that word carrot that's mm. the fourth c comes from the word carob carob is a seed there they are in there can you see the carob seeds yeah now they use carob seeds back then to weigh a diamond now they take a hundred carob seeds and that would make up a one carat diamond okay now, yeah this is something they used back then. Yo, Bafetsu, I had a great time. So inspired. Who knew what a small town could be so rich in culture and heritage? Otherwise, Duana, I've learned so much about the history of diamonds like Mzant and Gutsi Gatlegat. Let's keep on like a big hole. This is what we call Mission Accomplish. Your boy, C A D, where I pronounce Caddy, is diamonding out. My favorite part of the show, Buffet 2, this is a time where we get to put your knowledge to the test, Buffet 2, with our TOMZ quiz challenge. You two at home can also play along on Facebook and on Twitter. Let me tell you, I'm going to 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 tell you, let's find out. Bulweni TOMZ herbs now is good to send Tanagakulu and you guys are the ultimate special people in our lives. And that is why Gunko Beyotin and we decided to visit Kimberley and visit specifically the Floor High School. Hi, as Bonella and Obas is Miss Sela Futis ready to have some fun with you guys as we explore the amazing world of science and technology. Now, I'm you guys are with the grade 11s to see if they were up for the challenge that we were about to give them, Yam and you know what they say, knowledge is power, and with this power, we can give birth to great future leaders. So Katie Gay handed out some awesome books that will empower the learners and cultivate their minds, keeping them motivated about their future and their careers. With the TMC by your side, learning becomes fun. Learn to get busy edutainment. With all this jam-packed knowledge, we had to have some fun, which is why we introduced our dance challenge. Ukarige went in the middle, did his thing, but the students outshone him by a mile. But done is a but done is a shame. We finally got down to it, guess at Lala, our Tom's Quiz Challenge, where we saw Team A taking the first round. What is needed in order for a diamond to form naturally? Is it A, pressure? B, lava, C, earthquakes, or D, volcanoes. Yes, yes, team A. A. Need to A, pressure. Okay, cool. I was wondering whether the answer is correct or incorrect. A and D. Okay, team A, well done for making it to the second round. So we can get to the second round where we saw Bronwyn taking it. We are wasn't out Pumelela to the third round, let us see. Oh yes, so I'm well done for making it this far. This is the last round. Lena guess he be saying a TOMZ speed round master. So you can see there's colorful puzzles in front of you, right? So what you need to do is you need to take these puzzles and put them in another splendor. So you've got two minutes to do this. These are the rules. You only use one hand and you can't put the bigger one on top of the small one. Got it? Ready? And your time starts now. Ah, 
If you guys want us to visit your schools, all you have to do is drop us the email gutoms at acbc.co.za and who knows, we could be at your door. Five, four, three, two, one, and your time is up. What happened? I got a bit confused. <laughs> yes. Okay, could you have any shout outs? Shout out to my family at home and my friends, Group A. Thank you for helping me, even though you made me more confused. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we call the TOMZ Speed Run Mass of Affairs. TOMZ Quiz is officially done. Until next time, keep it fresh. So, Buffett, when you look at the discovering and mining of diamonds have a huge impact, Buffett, when it comes to our history. So, I'm not going to ask you guys, how is the future looking for Ama Diamond? Check this out. Ama scientists have discovered how to create synthetic diamonds. Now, Ama diamonds lava are made in a lab and are much cheaper than real natural diamonds. They're also becoming more popular because they ease the burden of the natural diamond trade. Now, look at to relieve conflict in zones where diamonds are smuggled. Millennials are turning into the biggest diamond buyers worldwide. This is where we call it a wrap of it. So thank you so much for joining us in today's shiny episode. If you want to get information anymore, all you got to do is simply go into our website with www.sabceducation.co.za forward slash TOMZ. Absolutely. Alternatively, my you can hit us up on our social media pages on Facebook. We are, of course, TOMZ on Twitter at Tom's underscore SABC underscore one. Otherwise, you can hit my personal account at IMC underscore G on Twitter. I am fresh by Caddy on Twitter. Absolutely. And that's how we wrap things up buffet to keep shining like a diamond goodbye Absolutely. for now <laughs> here's what's coming up next time on teenagers on a mission so you've been up with an incredible person who defied the odds to become a prominent figure in an industry at a very young age for this is a chincha illizuleto of work from within. So, so like what the pros mean by psychometric testing into a soyenza at some point in life. See how the field of industrial psychology evolved in Atlanta. So, so like the incredible possibilities of the future. And try out our very own test to see how much you know. Look at our to TMZ every Thursdays and Fridays at half past two. Right here on SABC1 Mzansi for sure. It's a date. Don't be late.